Hi guys, I'm back here at Muddy Creek again going uh, bass fishing. See what we can get. Stick around. Try this whopper plopper again. Thing seems to work pretty good. See what we can get here. Look at there, got one first cast. And I see a couple other swirls in there too. Decent little guy, not huge. Man, these things really do get hooked. First cast, first bass. Not bad. I just saw a couple tiny little bass. Take off down that way, but oh, there was a nice one, nice swirl. Ah, caught the grass. Not gonna catch anything on that. Too shallow here. Got too much grass. Saw some swirls up there. There must be some pretty good ones in there. This is probably only barely a foot deep. I'm guessing. Grass is growing out of the top of the water. Landed it right on the grass. Come on now. Aggravating stuff. Pah, got me wet. Not as windy as it was the last time we were down in here fishing. Hopefully it's a little easier to fish. Let's see what we can do here. I don't know, these creek bass love this whopper plopper. I don't see any use in switching it up. I could cast straight. There, that's much better. Check that out, guys. There's a caster mound here from beavers, I guess. It's what it looks like for from uh the trappers that I've seen that try to mimic those, it stinks, that's for sure. There's a slide right there into the water. Should trap these beavers back here. If I knew what I was doing, maybe I would. There's another caster mound right there. Wow, they must be in here thick. Just soon one wouldn't get on on the bottom side of that stick. Just soon they wait till the top side so they 
can uh, it's easier to pull them in without getting them tangled but I guess they're just not going to get on Well guys, I just chased, I think, two beavers in. I don't know if you can see that tree over there or not on the GoPro. But that's the one that they had started chewing on last week. It's fallen over. This one here is still there, but chewed on more. Not sure where those beaver went, but... They're definitely, oh, there's one, I see a bubble trail down the creek here. I don't know how far down there he went, but. Yeah, way down there, I see, I don't see it, but I see where it is. Way down there, probably 100 yards down the creek already. So they probably just scared all my fish away on this side. Oh, there's the other one. They're still swimming around down there, that's for sure. There's definitely two of them. Fish on, guys. That's actually not a bad size one there. Not bad at all. That's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. Got hooked good too. Right through the top of the mouth. Fish number two. A decent fish. Oh, he's beat up pretty bad. Must be on a bed. Here you go. Let this bad boy back. Good one. Fish number two. I doubt you can see that. But there's a great big old carp right out there in the middle there. About right under the lure right now. There's a carp out there. I should start trying to fish those things. I don't know how many of them are in here, but I know they're in here. That's a pretty big one there. See its tail, it's probably four inches across at least. Just hooked up with number three. Little guy. Little guy, but he's fat. Probably so, eating all this, this big of baits. There you go, fat little bugger. Number three. One jumped right across the way there. Let's see if I can catch him. Right there, right is where he jumped. I don't know if that was him that took it down or not. I don't think so. But About landed that one on top of him. Try it again. Oh, he's 
shark at it, I believe. It's just a little guy, but I'll pull him across the creek if he bites. Shark at it. Huh? Keeps biting, I'll keep throwing. Well, oh, he's done. There's one right over there that jumped. Oh yeah, got him. Number four. Little guy. He's pretty chill. Number four. Sorry, guy. That might have hurt a little bit. Try again. There's some grass beds here. Let's see if there's anything up in there. Beautiful day, that's for sure. Not much wind. Water's moving a little slower down here than it was. Up there. So guys, right over there in that blackberry bush, straight across from me, right there, I heard a monster splash a little while ago. I'm not sure if it was a bass or if it was a beaver. But I'd like to I'd like to at least see if it was a bass. Whatever it was, it thundered pretty hard. Fish number five. A little bitty thing. Oh average for here small average there you go number five well there he goes back that way again I might catch him again who knows Number six. Caught it from over there under the bridge. Uh, he wasn't coming off. He hooked himself back in the back and in the mouth. Boy. Number six.
Well guys, my GoPro died, but that's number seven for today. Getting almost as close as the last trip down here to the Muddy. It's a little guy. Alright, let's let this little booger go. Oh, that hit hard. He's good though. Finally got this little bugger. He was right down there where that current is going around the corner, right up in them bushes there or the grass there. Would not get on the hook. It struck and struck and struck. Finally got on. I think I probably struck at the hook probably eight or ten times. Finally got him. That's number eight. I think I'm going to call it a day. I've had a good time. Caught eight of them down this creek. It's time to go home. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up. And uh, hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching.